So I always see a lot of misunderstandings or people just not knowing who and what has anti-heal in the game and how you should be adjusting your picks and builds to counter an enemy healer such as Hell or Ra. So the first thing I want to put out there because a lot of new players and even some more experienced ones don't actually know is that anti-heal affects all kinds of healing and regeneration, not just ability healing. So it reduces lifesteal, potion healing, standard regeneration from HP5, heals from items like Berserker Shield or Mail of Renewal, healing from relics like Bracer or Meditation, as well as of course reducing all healing from abilities. Basically, anti-heal reduces any form of health regeneration except one. The healing received from being in your fountain is not affected at all by anti-healing to prevent spawn traps. Another very important thing that is lesser known by a lot of people is that some anti-heal effects will not stack with each other, while others will stack with each other. So what I mean by this is that Divine Ruin, the magical damage item with 40% anti-heal, and Brawler's Beat Stick, the physical counterpart that also has 40% anti-heal, will not stack with each other. You won't get 80% anti-heal by applying both these effects to the same target. You will instead just get 40% as if you hit someone with one of them. And the exact same principle applies with Pestilence and Contagion. These two items both give an aura of 20%. 25% anti-heal to all enemies in 55 units, with Pestilence being the magical defense version and Contagion being the physical defense version. These two items, just like Divine and Brawlers, do not stack with each other, but they will stack with any other anti-heal items as normal. As far as my testing has shown, these two cases are the only ones where anti-heal items don't stack with each other though. Any other combination should result in stacked anti-heal. So a Toxic Blade combined with the Brawler's Beat Stick will give you 80% anti-heal, Pestilence with Divine Ruin will give you 65%, Toxic Blade, Contagion and Curse Dank all together will give you 115% anti-heal and so on. So as long as you keep in mind that Brawlers doesn't stack with Divine and Pestilence doesn't stack with Contagion, you can just add up the anti-heal percentages. Also it might seem obvious but of course multiple of the same anti-heal effect do not stack with each other. So if you have three mages all buying Divine Ruin and hitting the same target, you're not going to get 120% anti-heal from that. That would be kind of dumb. So here's the full list of items which give anti-healing in the game currently. Brawler's Beat Stick and Divine Ruin both give 40% anti-heal on ability hits but do not stack with each other. They will however stack with any other anti-heal effect. Toxic Blade gives 20% per basic attack hit for two stacks, so 40% anti-heal total. Pestilence and Contagion apply 25% anti-heal in an aura to everyone in a 55 unit area, which looks like this in game. 55 units is standard ranged basic attack range. And finally we have the anti-heal relic, Cursed Ankh, which applies 50% anti-heal to all enemies in that same 55 unit radius. The upgrade for this relic also makes enemies take 20% more damage if they are affected by an ability heal while the relic is active. I'll also quickly give a mention to Rod of Asclepius. This is of course not an anti-heal item, in fact it's the opposite. It boosts healing by 10 or 15% depending on if you're in combat or not. But I'm mentioning it here just to explain how it interacts with anti-heal effects. It basically works additively with anti-heal. So if you're applying 40% anti-heal to someone who has Rod of Asclepius, they'll simply lose 40% of their healing and then gain 15% back from the Rod of Asclepius and end up with only 25% anti-heal in the end. So even if you're applying 100% anti-heal to an enemy, if they have Rod of Asclepius, they will still be healing for a bit. I just thought that was worth explaining because it can be a little bit confusing when you think you have 100% anti-heal but the enemies are still healing for some reason. That reason is probably Rod of Asclepius. The only case where Rod is completely overwritten by anti-heal is in the case of complete anti-heal which we'll get into later. Okay so with the items that give anti-heal covered and how they work and stack with each other, let's talk a bit about gods who have anti-heal built into their kit. So to start this off, all anti-heal effects from gods will stack both with each other and also with any item anti-heal effects. So for example, a Sobek hitting you with his 3 that does 50% anti-heal and then a Medusa hitting you with her dash for another 50% anti-heal will stack with each other and give you 100% anti-heal. And likewise, a Sobek that has a Divine Ruin will stack the 50% anti-heal from his 3 on with the 40% from Divine Ruin and get 90%. They'll all just add with each other. But of course the abilities don't stack with each other in the way that like two Sobex hitting you with a 3 at the same time won't apply 100% anti-heal, it'll just be 50%. So here's all of the gods currently in the game as of Ola run that have anti-heal. Bacchus has 50% anti-heal for 3 seconds on the 3 and this is regardless of how drunk he is at the time of using it. Sobek has 50% anti-heal for 4 seconds to anyone hit by his 3. Cerberus has a 20% anti-heal aura of 40 units radius around him and he will also get 40% of the healing done back to him as well. Changa has 50% anti-heal for 4 seconds to anyone hit by her 3. Kukulan has 40% anti-heal for 4 seconds to anyone hit by his 1 in normal form. Medusa has 50% anti-heal for 3 seconds on the 3. This can however only hit 1 god at once. 
Odin has complete anti-heal to anyone inside his ultimate cage, which lasts 5 seconds. Complete anti-heal is different to 100% anti-heal, and basically means no healing is possible in the cage, regardless of any other effects like Rod of Asclepius that might boost healing. Osiris has complete anti-heal for 6 seconds to anyone hit by his ultimate. Sir Ket has complete anti-heal for 5 seconds to the target of her ultimate. This is single target, but can also spread to multiple people if the target dies while under the effect. And finally, Apwash doesn't have anti-heal specifically, but his 3 will apply a 1.5 second stun to anyone who heals while under the effects of the ability. So I thought it was worth an include since he does work as an effective healer counter. So that's about it from me on everything about anti-healing. Hopefully this video has cleared up some potential misconceptions or questions you guys had on the subject, like Brawlers and Divine not stacking for instance. If you want to see more of these in-depth type videos on other topics, then be sure to let me know by leaving a like and dropping a comment about what you want to see next down below. But that's about it for now. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in another video later. Peace out, you nerds.